first time ever, one person can win a $1 million top prize simply by answering one question correctly. A contest that takes brain. I feel ready. Guts. Let's do this. Nerves of steel. But with a prize that big, the challenge had to be bigger. To win that top prize, you'll have to defeat 100 people. And if that wasn't hard enough... We have seven valedictorians. Three summa cum laude. Three brain surgeons. Ten Mensa members. Three million dollar winners from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Jeopardy champion. Ken Jennings. This is why Jeopardy on speed. Tonight, one contestant. <laughs> 100 opponents. These guys are smart. One wrong answer and you're out. Oh, please, right. And a $1 million top prize. The money or the mob. From the producers of Deal or No Deal, it's one versus 100. Welcome, welcome to one versus 100. I'm Bob Saget, uh, yeah, and this is a brand new show. It's very exciting to me to be here. A new show where one person goes up against 100 people. All right, it is time right now to meet the one, the first person to go up against this mob from Tacoma, Washington. Please welcome Brian Decato. Let's do this. Please don't touch me. <laughs> now, what do you do for a living, sir? I'm a bouncer. You're a bouncer, Brian. Yeah. What chance would you would you think off the top of your head that a, a bouncer, not to label you, would, would have against a hundred people? Uh, some of the best thinkers in history were bouncers. Aristotle, Plato, you know. All... Yeah, right. This game is very simple. Either you are going to win, or the mob is going to win. Now, I'm going to be asking you and the mob the same questions, all right? Every question that someone in the mob gets wrong, they are eliminated from the game, and you are going to win money. For every person you eliminate on the first question, you will win one hundred dollars. Goes all the way up to ten thousand dollars. If you knock out and eliminate every single member of the mob at any time, your winnings will jump to one million dollars. Get this one question wrong. You will leave here with nothing. And the remaining members of the mob will split your winnings up to that point. Now let me tell you who's in the mob tonight. We have nine teachers in the mob tonight. We also have three deal or no deal models here. And we have a very interesting person here. Jeopardy champion for 74 games and 2.5 million dollars. Ken Jennings is here. Ken, you're no stranger to these kind of games, is that correct? No, Jeopardy's got three players, so this is like Jeopardy on speed, this is nuts. <laughs> well, I'm very happy to have you here, uh, Ken. You're a very smart man and you intimidate me tremendously. <laughs> Thank you. Ken Jennings. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to get started? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Are you guys ready? Yeah. It is one versus 100. Yeah. Each person eliminated is worth $100. Let's go to the first question. The 2003 movie Sea Biscuit featured what type of animal in the title role? Was it one with fins, one with paws, or one with hooves? Everybody in our mob, you all have your individual keypads. Answer now. All right, Brian, Sea Biscuit. Did you see it? I did see it and read the book as well. You read the book? Yeah, yeah, I can read. Is it? A, you can read. Yeah. <laughs> What a few bouncers they can. Yeah. And so you, you think you know this answer? Yeah. You don't feel like you need any help at all? No, no help from the mob. You can only ask the mob for help twice. I'll tell you more about that later. I think I'm okay on my own on this one. Then you should go ahead, my friend. Um, you know, I'm going to go with C, one with hooves. Okay. Let's see if he's right. One with a hook. Now, Brian, let's find out how many members of the mob got that wrong for $100 each. Wow. No one got that wrong. Obviously, this is one smart mob. You have the option to leave with your money after each correct answer. 
Would you like the non-money or the mob? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go for the mob. You're gonna go for the mob. Obviously, it is still one versus 100. Each person that you eliminate now in this next question is worth $500. What Hawaiian appetizer is often found on Asian cuisine menus? Is it poo poo platter, kaka combo, or doo doo delight? All right, 100 mobsters, answer now. All right, Brian, what's going through your mind right now? <laughs> you know, I don't miss many meals, so uh, right. I feel pretty comfortable on this one. I, I, I know my fair share of poo poo. You don't want help? No, you don't, don't need, need any help. help with your poo-poo? Don't need any help with my poo-poo. Well, then I need your answer, and I need it now. I'm going to go with a poo-poo platter. A poo-poo. Let's see if he's right. Of course. How could it not be? Now, let's see how many of the mob got that wrong. For $500 for each person eliminated. Wow, eight people got that wrong. At $500 per wrong answer, that's $4,000. No one got the first question wrong, but eight people got this one wrong. You never know what they will or won't know. Brian, you can take that four grand right now and go eat as many poo-poo platters as you'd like. Would you like the money, or would you like the mob? I'm gonna take on the mob. You're gonna take on the mob. Of course you are. It is one versus... 92! For each person you eliminate now, $1,000. Let's go to the third question. You're singing the name game song with the current Secretary General of the UN. How is his name sung? Is it Juan Juan Boban, Henry Henry Bobenry, Kofi Kofi Bobofi? All 92 of the mob, please answer now. All right, Brian. I'm gonna go ahead and answer this. Don't need no help from the audience. You don't need no help. No, no, no from the mob. You read Tom Sawyer recently as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your answer is. My, my answer is C. Kofi, Kofi, Bobo, C. C. All right. Brian, before we find out if you're right, we're gonna do something different this time. Just for shiggles, let's see how many people in the mob got that wrong for one thousand dollars each. Oh, wow. yeah! Woo! Brian, that is a lot of people. 22 people in the mob got that wrong. The most traumatic thing, we just lost two deal or no deal models. Oh. Brian, if you get this right, you're going to have $22,000 additional. He says it's Kofi Kofi Bobo Fee, C. And the correct answer is. knocked out 30 opponents in the mob. What are you going to do? You could walk out of here right now with $26,000. What would you do with the money, Brian? Wow. Um, you know, this is going to sound real cheesy, but uh, I'm, I'm a bouncer. I don't make that much money. But I have a girlfriend, and uh, I'd really like to earn enough money to buy her an engagement ring she deserves. So. Wow. Okay. Let's see if we can help you win that money. Do you want the money, or do you want the mob? Deputy champion Ken Jennings has stolen the mob. You know what? I mean, twenty-six thousand dollars is a lot of money, but uh, I I'm feeling confident. Not overconfident, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling you want to go on? I want the mob. You want the mob? It's one versus seventy. Each person you eliminate now, Brian, is worth two thousand dollars. All right, let's go to the next question. In 2005, what comedian walked away from a $50 million deal with Comedy Central? 
John Stewart, Dave Chappelle, or Craig Kilborn? All of our 70 surviving mob members, please answer now. A $50 million deal. What are you thinking right now? Um, what do you smell? <laughs> I smell Rick James. <laughs> so you're saying... I'm saying B, Dave Chappelle. You're saying B, Dave Chappelle. All right. Let's see if he's right. Of course it's Dave Chappelle. And let's find out how many of our mob members were incorrect for $2,000 each. Three people, two thousand dollars for each person that gets wrong. That's six thousand dollars you just got. That brings your total up to thirty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> now, woo, you can take thirty-two thousand dollars and you can leave and not let the door hit you on the way out, or you can go on, my friend. With full knowledge, you will lose all your money to the mob with a single incorrect answer. Is it going to be the money or the mob? Thirty-two thousand dollars can buy you one night engagement. I'm gonna have to go for the mob. They're gonna go for the mob. All right. They want you to make money. They want you to make a lot of money, and then they want you to lose. And the surviving members of the mob are gonna split that money. If you are going on, my friend, it is one versus sixty-seven. Each person you eliminate now is worth three thousand dollars. All right. Let's go to the question. Uncork the crystal. You hit a perfect 850. On what? The SATs? Your credit score? A single game of bowling. People in the mob, please put in your answer right now. Okay, Brian. What are you thinking? What's I, your hunch? I, I'm really thinking and saying the SATs. Are you certain? Not, not entirely. Let me walk around you in a circle to make you feel calm. <laughs> now, Brian, let me just tell you this. You can ask for help twice from them, the mob. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to ask for help. You're going to ask the mob for help. There's two times, only two times you can do that. All right, this is how it works the first time. You're going to tell me which of the three answers you want more information about, and then I'm going to show you which members of the mob pick that answer. And you are going to select any one of those people you'd like to, and they will explain why they answered that way. Which one would you like to pick? I want to find more out about answer B. All right, let's find out how many members of the mob chose B. 63 people chose B, your credit score. Which one of them would you like to speak to? Uh, one of the deal or no girl, number seven. One of the deal or no girls. <laughs> Number seven. Now, why number seven, the deal or no deal girl? And she's just closest. It's right there, so she's closest. closest there. All right, and what is your name? Megan. Megan, nice to meet you, Megan. And how long have you been on uh, Deal or No Deal? I actually am the new girl. I just started. Yeah, new girl. Yeah. Well, why did, you pick, why did you pick B, your credit score, Megan? Because I am very much on top of my credit, and I'm always aware of what that radius should be. So you are, you're pretty positive that it's B, your credit score? I would say absolutely. All right, Brian. She seemed pretty certain. What do you think? Uh, well, you know, she, she sounded pretty confident, um, and it definitely blew my, my hunch away. Let me, let me ask you a question. Why didn't you ask Ken, Ken Jennings, number 13? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, he won uh, two and a half million dollars. Uh, how many times, how much did you win? Two and a half, two and a half million dollars on Jeopardy. He's a, he's a genius. But yet, your eyes went right to Megan. <laughs> and that, that's fine. Dude, I was right with you on that one. When I go, uh, Megan. You know, it's possible, but um, all right. Now, how are you feeling? You know, the great thing about Megan is she picked the same answer as Ken. I didn't have to pick Ken. Then I need your answer. And I'm going to go with B, your credit score. All right, then. Let's find out if he's right. What is the correct answer? B, your credit score. Let's find out how many people in the mob got it wrong for $3,000 for each one eliminated. There we go, there we go. Four people got it wrong for $3,000 each. You just won $12,000 more. Brings your total, right, up to $44,000. Now you can keep that money and walk out of here. It's $44,000. Or you can continue to go. 
You are 63 people away from the million dollars. You've knocked out roughly a third of the mob. The next question, every person eliminated is worth $4,000. Questions are getting harder. Mobs getting smarter. What is it going to be, the money or the mob? What's it going to be? You're clapping, but you're not sure. No, it's 44 it's... grand. You can walk out. They're yelling mob, mob, mob. It's like Thunderdome in here. <laughs> uh, you know, I... Nah, that's They're a lot talking to you. They're yeah. telling you stuff. What are they saying? Of course they want me. They want me to lose. They want, you know you to, they want you to hike that money up and raise the kitty. You know what? We're, we're going to keep going. I want the mob. All right. You want the mob? It's one versus 63. Person you eliminate right now is worth four thousand dollars. In the film, whose name does the forty-year-old virgin call out when he's getting his chest waxed? Paris Hilton, Kelly Clarkson, or Yoko Ono? Our surviving sixty-three members of the mob, please select your answer of those three right now. All right, Brian. You know, I, I feel real confident about this one. You uh, really do? I do. I've seen the movie, love it. Hilarious movie. All right, then select your answer. B, Kelly Clarkson. All right. Let's see if Brian is correct. The correct answer is... It's Kelly Clarkson. All right, then. Woo! Okay, for $4,000 each, let's see how many people got it wrong. There we go. Come on, come on. All right. There we go. people just got it wrong at four thousand dollars for each incorrect answer you just added fifty six thousand dollars <laughs> and that gets added to your forty four thousand dollars your grand total right now brian is one hundred thousand dollars i'm just thinking of the incredible ring and wedding and you know it's just it's just tough. that is a lot of money for that engagement ring and a lot more some extra cash you have one hundred thousand dollars. Wow, this is tough. Uh, I mean, it's a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, how many people would turn down a hundred thousand dollars? I know a girl that would. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm really thinking about the first thing I'm going to say to to my girlfriend. Her name's Diane. You know, if I tell her I want a hundred thousand dollars, is she going to say that's great, or is she going to say how much could you have won? Would you like to get the money? Man, you know, I, 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 I told myself if I got on here and I got up to $100,000, I was going to walk away. But you sit up here and you, you see the questions and you think you know them and you see the mob. And, you know, half the teachers are gone. I mean, teachers are <laughs> as smart as they come. <laughs> but, uh, wow, this is really tough. Um, you know, in the next question, every person you eliminate is worth $5,000. on one more question now. It's one versus 49. Brian, each person you eliminate now is going to be worth $5,000. These people have gotten smarter, and the questions are getting harder. All right, let's see the next question. Which TV drama series does not revolve around a team of FBI agents? Monk, Criminal Minds, Without a trace. Our remaining mob members, please answer now. Okay, Brian, what comes to your mind? You know, uh, I, I don't really watch any of the shows. You feel like you need some help? You know what? Yeah, let's ask the mob. Might as well. It's your second time. It is. It is. It is. Now, Brian, this is the last time you can ask the mob for help. 
This time, the way you ask the mob, we are going to randomly select two of these 49 people. One of them is going to have the correct answer, and one of them is going to have the incorrect answer. You can speak to both of them and then try to figure out what the answer is, okay? Let's select the first person out of the mob that Brian can speak to. Number 41. What is your name? Uh, Ava. And do you know the answer to this in your mind? I'm pretty sure that the answer is Monk. Do you watch Monk? I do watch Monk. Uh -huh. Great show. And you're saying that show does not revolve around an FBI? Uh, it does not. It revolves around the San Francisco Police Department and a detective that works with them. Well, thank you for your answer. Now let's see one of the person you get to speak to who either has the correct or incorrect answer from the mob. Let's find out who that is. Number 68, what is your name? Dana Willard. Which did you choose? I actually chose Criminal Minds B. Why, Dana? Well, you know, I felt like I also watched Mike recently. I don't watch it frequently, but I was under the impression that it was FBI agents also. But, you know, I'm not totally sure on that. So I could be completely wrong, but B was my hunch. Thank you very much. Well, Ryan, at first, at first, Dana was pretty sure that it was Criminal Minds, and Ava was pretty positive, it seemed, that it was Monk. Obviously, Brian, the answer is not without a trace. It has been excluded. It's either Monk or it's criminal minds. You know, uh, I really I think Ava, she sounded like she watches the show a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure we can have a great wedding, you know. You and Ava? No, no. No, me, Diane and I. Right? Uh, you know, with however money we have, but uh, I, I gotta take a guess. And if it's wrong, and everyone that gets, what, $2,000, each member of the mob, can come by my bar, buy me a drink, we'll call it in. <laughs> but I'm going to answer, I'm going to answer A, Monk. You are answering A, Monk. If you chose the wrong answer, you're going to walk away with nothing. And the mob is going to split your winnings. Let's see what the correct answer is. He says Monk, and the correct answer is... $5,000 a piece. Let's see how many members of the mob that survived have got that wrong. There we go. One, two, come on. Three, four. Come on, come on. Five, right. ten. Don't snap it. Seven people got that wrong. At $5,000 each, you just won an extra $35,000. Bring your grand total up right now to $135,000. All right. You have a hundred. And thirty-five thousand dollars, Brian. That's a lot. You were having trouble with a hundred grand a couple minutes ago. You know, surprisingly, if I was to walk away from this, it seems like it would be easier. <laughs> it's already walked away from a hundred grand. But uh, wow, that's a lot of money. Keep this in mind. On the next question, Brian, everybody eliminated is worth six thousand dollars. $135,000. You're working on adrenaline now. You've got 42 people. You've knocked out more than half the mob. You're 42 people away from $1 million. It's a fact. You could win $1 million. Is it going to be the money? Or is it going to be the mob? It's less and less people are getting the answer wrong. You know what? Um, Ava could come down to my bar and I'll buy her a drink. But I'm going to have a hell of a wedding because I'm taking the money, Bob! I'm taking the money!
actor Brian walked away with $135,000 to share with his fiance. And that angered the mob. Additionally, 42 members of the mob survived the last game and have been invited back to take on our next player. Okay, from Youngstown, Ohio, please welcome Christine Tarbett. You're from Youngstown, Ohio. Yes. And what do you do? I'm a technical writer for a software company. <laughs> Are you a single woman? Well, I have a boyfriend of nine years. Wow, he's he's very young. Uh... <laughs> really sorry. All right, Christine. Our game is very very simple. Either you will win, okay. or they will win. I'm going to ask you and the mob the same questions, all right? The more you knock out in this mob, the more you win. The top prize you could win tonight, $1 million. Now, we've added some new members to the mob. We have nine waitresses. We have seven surfers. We have seven valedictorians. And also... We have Jeopardy! champion of 74 games. He won $2.5 million. Mr. Ken Jenny. Welcome back, Ken. You throw the game. You'll be shot. Christine, are you ready? Yes, I am. And Mob, are you ready? It's one versus 100. Each person eliminated on this first question will win you $100. Okay. Of the three judges on American Idol, who usually sits in the middle? The one from Great Britain, the former Laker girl, or the author of What's Up, Dog? Everybody in our mob, answer now. American Idol. <laughs> who usually sits in the middle? Well, the person that usually sits in the middle is Paula Abdul, who is the former Laker girl. So my answer is B. B, the former, the Laker. former Laker girl. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. It's B, the former Laker girl. Who knew? Christine, for everybody who got that wrong, you get $100. Wow. 11 people just got that wrong. At $100 each, you just won $1,100. How, how did you get that wrong? Number 38. I don't watch TV. You don't watch any television, but you're going to watch one versus 100 all the Absolutely. time. I watch this one when I get eliminated on the first question. Excellent. <laughs> $1,100 you just won. Yeah. Now, Christine, after each question you answer right, you can leave with your money or you can go on. The money or the mob? I'm going with the mob. The mob! It's one person's 89. <laughs> Christine, each person you eliminate now is worth $500. Yes. Contrary to what Jessica Simpson may have thought, what is the chicken of the sea mascot? A mermaid? A chicken? Or a bumblebee? You remaining 89 members of the mob, please answer now. Okay, Christine, what comes to your mind? The thing that's going through my mind right now is that I know the answer. All right, well, what do you think it is? It is A, a mermaid. You're positive. Yeah, I'm positive. You need no help from anyone. The mob can help you twice. I don't need their help right now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right, then you go ahead and make your selection now. Okay, it's... No, I'm going to get it wrong. It's A, a mermaid. A, a mermaid, she said. All right, let's see if the correct answer is A, a mermaid. It's a mermaid! <laughs> well, let's see how many got it wrong in our mob for $500 for each person eliminated. $500 for each incorrect answer. You just won another $8,500. Yeah! That brings your grand total up to $9,600. All right, Christine. You want the money or you want the mob? I want the mob. You want the mob? Yeah! Christine Tarbert is 72 people away from $1 million. Will she be able to take home the million? We'll find out. Christine is knocked out almost 30% of the mob.
Honor, march to one million dollars. It is one versus 72 right up there. Each person you eliminate now is worth one thousand dollars. If the Venus de Milo statue came to life, which would you have the most trouble doing? Using a Stairmaster, playing Frisbee, or C, lip syncing? All right, remaining members of the mob, please answer now. Okay, Christine, Venus de Milo. Mm -hmm. You know her deal, maybe? She doesn't have any arms, so I'm thinking that the thing that she'd have the most trouble doing is playing Frisbee. Then I need your answer by pushing the button. Okay. My answer is B, playing Frisbee. All right. Let's see what the correct answer is. Do you think it's B, playing Frisbee? It's B. Okay, let's see how many people got it wrong for $1,000 each. Seven people got it wrong at $1,000 each. You just won an extra $7,000. Wow. Christine, that brings your total right now up to $16,600. Wow. Number 15, what did you vote for? I voted for lip syncing. Well, it's very hard to lip sync with a Frisbee in your mouth. <laughs> so, so, all right, Christine, if you'd like, you can take that money. Do um, you want the money? Or do you want the mob? Which would you like? I would like the mob. She'd like the mob. It's one versus 65. Each person you eliminate now is worth $2,000. All right? On deal or no deal, how many of the numbers on the outside of the briefcases marked 1 through 26 are evenly divisible by 3? A, 7, B, 8, or C, 9? Yeah. You 65 remaining members of the mob, please answer now. All right, Christine, of course you watch Deal or No Deal? Of course. And, uh... What do you think? I counted it off, and I believe that there are seven. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, and twenty-four. <gasps> Wait a minute. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Well, wait one second. Are you are you positive on this, or would you like to get some help? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I got the right answer. I believe it is eight numbers. So my answer is. B8. Before we find out if you're right, we're going to shake things up and change them around. Just for the heck of it. Let's find out how many members of the mob guessed that wrong for $2,000 each. Eighteen people have guessed that incorrectly. If you get this right, you will win an additional $36,000. If you get this wrong, you will walk away with nothing. Christine said eight, and the answer is... Eight! Christine, an additional $36,000. You are at $52,600. You have knocked out more than half of the mob. Now, this is turning into some real serious money. You're at yes. $52,600. What would you do with that money right now? My parents, they, they live in Ohio still, so it'd be great to just go and see them for a little while. So that would be a, a real great thing to do. With Very nice. You're at yes. $52,600. What would you like to do? Would you like the money, or would you like to continue and go for the mob? You're gonna go with the mob. And you realize they want you to make as much money as you possibly can. Oh, and yeah, then, I know. then they hope that you lose and they would split your earnings. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, they're mean like that. <laughs> it's one versus 47. Each person you eliminate now is worth 
three thousand dollars. Wow. Next question. If you want to watch a movie about boxing, which one should you not rent? A. Cinderella Man. B. Million Dollar Baby. Or C. Training Day. Forty-seven mob members. Answer it now. Christine. Well, I haven't seen the first two, but I have seen the third, which is Training Day C, and that is definitely not about boxing. All right, then, if you're sure. I'm sure. C, All right, then. Training Day. Her answer is C. Christine said Training Day. Let's see what the correct answer is. Training Day. Let's find out how many people in the mob got that wrong. For $3,000. No one got that wrong. They're getting smarter. That's yeah. what's happening. They're getting smarter, and it's harder to eliminate them. So you have uh, you've not won any additional money, but you are holding at fifty-two thousand six hundred dollars right mm -hmm. now. Would you like the money or the mob? The mob. The mob. Yeah. We will see how hard the mob is to eliminate when we come back. Sitting on $52,600. That's amazing. You see? Each person you eliminate now is worth $4,000. All right, Christine. Which fireplace term is also the name of a section of the earth? Flu, hearth, or mantle? 47 mob members answer now. All right, Christine. What do you think? Um, I think my sixth grade science teacher is going to be very proud of me because I know the answer to this. Um, it is C, mantle. Okay, she says C, mantle. Let's see if she is correct. C, mantle. Let's see how many in the mob got it wrong for $4,000 each person eliminated. People got it wrong, Christine. Four thousand dollars for each of them. That adds twenty thousand dollars. That gives you a grand total right now of seventy-two thousand six hundred dollars. Your science teacher is very proud of you. Yes. You have seventy-two thousand right now. It's getting more intense, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes, you've knocked out more than half the mob. They're getting uh -huh. smarter. What's going on in your mind right now? Um. Well, I'm still thinking that I still have both of my helps. Um, $72,000 is a lot of money, but since I have those, um, I think I want to continue. You're going to risk the money. Yeah. Money or the mob? The mob. The mob. Yes. It's one versus 42. Each person you eliminate now is worth $5,000. In contemporary slang, what would you do with your badunka dunk? Would you drive it? Sit on it? or wear it. 42 people in the mob. Answer one of those three now. Okay, Christine. It's your badunka dunk. Well, my boyfriend told me I was getting one. A badunka dunk, a badunka -dunk is can you, your... Can you, is... I can't even talk a talk. Um... <laughs> You're doing really well. It is B, you sit on it. You sit on it. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. You sit on it. On your pedunker I do. I do. At $5,000, let's see who got it wrong. Three people got it wrong, $5,000 each. That's $15,000. Brings your grand total up to eighty-seven thousand six hundred dollars. You've been doing very, very well. It's very suspenseful. Yes. <laughs> you could stop right now, and you could walk out of here with eighty-seven thousand six hundred dollars. Go visit your family, or you could continue. You could go on against the mob. That's real money. Yes. Yeah.
The mob is getting much, much harder to knock out now. Mm -hmm. There are 39 people left. What do you want to do? Well... Do you want the money? Or do you want the mob? I still have two helps left, so I'm going to go with the mob. Target is almost two thirds of the way to one million dollars. Will she get there? We're gonna find out next time on One versus One Hundred. Congratulations to tonight's ten thousand dollar You versus One Hundred winner. Next Friday, 1 versus 100 returns at an earlier time, 8, 7 central, and the mob is back. Brain surgeon, valedictorian, Jeopardy champion, Jennings. Think you can win? Try our online game at NBC.com and watch 1 versus 100 every Friday at an earlier time, 8, 7 central on NBC. Monday, could it finally happen? You could become the first million dollar winner. Let's go! All new Deal or No Deal, Monday on NBC.